I'm Sally Carson. And you are from? I'm from Pinocchio. And what, what, what is this here? So Pinocchio is a Arduino compatible microcontroller that's connected to the web right out of the box, and it's got mesh networking baked right in. So the architecture of this, mm -hmm. you have the Wi-Fi mm -hmm. module, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and this connects to Wi-Fi and your computer and everything. Right. And you have these old nodes, yeah. nodules. Yeah. And these are what? These are 802. 154. 15. Yep. Uh, 2.4 gigahertz. Um, they're using we we will call it like RF mesh or okay. mesh radio. Um, so all the boards are talking to each other locally using mesh radio, and then one board can bridge up to the web that has Wi-Fi, or you can just run a standalone mesh network if you're doing okay. remote sensor networks in the field because you're doing biological research. You can do that. Um, it doesn't break the network if you lose Wi-Fi or if you're out of range of Wi-Fi. Okay. So all these, the mesh is like automatically reconfigurable. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. And you can you can broadcast messages um, to every node in the whole group. You can selectively broadcast and do tasks just to one board. Um, and of course you can do like automated triggering. We've tried to push all of the intelligence to the edge of the network. Um, so that these boards can still work um, autonomously. You know, if a sensor reading on one board gets above a certain predetermined threshold, it can trigger action on another board over here. And every board routes on behalf of um, the whole network. It's coordinator list, um, so it makes it really lightweight, really resilient. Um, if one node drops off the network, it's self-healing, it'll route around. So um, getting started stuff, mm -hmm. uh, first project. Yeah. How do we do that? You... Pull the boards out of the box, flip them on, plug in your Wi-Fi board, get it to connect to Wi-Fi, just using Chrome. Once it's connected, you can unplug it, provision the rest of the boards, now they're talking to the web. And typically the way that people are using it out of the box is they're just sending over the air simple scripting commands from HQ, which is our web app. So you'll see a little console, you could just do you know, LED.red, LED.blue, see the LED change wirelessly. And from there, you can start to build out custom functions. Okay. Um, you can always program this with the Arduino IDE if you prefer. Um, but the scripting language that we have laid on top of this is pretty robust. You can do pretty uh, um, complex projects. So you don't, you don't need to use your, um, your web thing? You don't have to. Okay. No, no. So. We're trying to make it so any, any piece of this that's useful for you, you can just use that. You know, you're, there's no notion of like a walled garden. You don't have to use our software stack with these boards. You don't have to, um, you know, you're not locked into using our web app in particular. You can, you can spin up your own instance of the API locally. So if you're doing, you know, we have some product design agencies that are doing work that's under NDA and by contract they're required to do all of their stuff physically internally in house. Um, so you don't have the um, walled garden. Right. Okay. Yeah, so I have, I have this little Pinocchio, it has a little button on it, and I have, so this, this Pinocchio, it's, it's evented and streaming, right? So any changes that happen on this Pinocchio, those changes are being immediately sent to the API, and the API sent them out on the event stream for this scout. And so this client-side page I have, this page that we, that we have about mesh all the things, it subscribes to that event stream, and then when it gets a new event, like, oh, a button was pressed, it can make changes to the site. So if I just press this little button, I have it set up so that if, if this button is being pressed, all of those little circles turn into Hackaday logos. And actually, if you see the text changes to, to hack all the things, instead of mesh all the things. So when I let go, the site is unhacked, press it is hacked again. So it's a little hack your website button. And it's it's doing that for anyone else who's looking at the page too. So you know not not just me or not just you, it's this page is subscribed to that event stream. So any changes that happen on my Pinocchio are immediately broadcast to the site and the site can do what it wants. Mm -hmm.